Hi, Craig Lowndes here. You don't get much of an opportunity to see what goes on behind these doors here at Red Bull Racing Australia. But come on, speed viewers, let's go and take a tour of the workshop. Well, here we are on the workshop floor, and of course around me is all the cars. There's five cars in different stages. The car on my left here is uh, the Casey Stoner car, the one he races in the development series. It was my 2010 Bathurst winning car. This victory will make them Bathurst immortals. But on my other side is Jamie Winkup's car of the future. The centre car is our uh, new car that will become our spare car, and the one on the far end is my, my car that I run. It's in my bay. And the car on the far other side is our uh, media car or our ride car. It's a car that was one of the first cars we built. We've turned it into a ride car. So whenever anyone gets an opportunity to come to a racetrack, we take them for a ride, that is the car. But this is our central hub and of course it branches off into other departments. Well this is the body fitment storage and as you can see behind me here we've got a number of spoilers. They've all got my number on it, which obviously I must be lucky. But of course, we go through a number of panels over a course of a weekend. So this is a very important part of the workshop that we make sure that all panels, whether it's a bonnet or a front spoiler, fit on the car correctly because we don't have a lot of time between races. And of course, the major thing is making sure the stickers are all on correctly. What you also see at the back here is we weigh every spoiler, every panel, because obviously the overall weight of the car is very critical. And it's something that obviously we be mindful of is when we do change the panels, we know exactly what weight goes on and what comes off for the corner weights of the car. Well, this is my car of the future. This is my baby. This is one I, I started the championship with. And of course, it's very different to say a NASCAR field where they've got multiple different chassis to suit different tracks, whether it's super speedway, short tracks, circuits, uh, and really for us, V8 supercars, we've got to now change this car to suit every circuit that we go to. So it doesn't matter whether we go clockwise, anti-clockwise, we've got Bathurst, we've got short, bumpy tracks, we've got to adjust the suspension to suit all those circuits. So for us, it's quite a, an achievement for the team and the guys to be able to do all that. Uh, the only other issue we have is if we have an impact, we have a side impact, a front impact, the boys here at the workshop have got to go to town on it. they have basically got to get it ready for the next championship. So for us, it'll be nice when we get our spare car up and running, but at this moment, we rely on this baby. Well, this is a sub-assembly room, and this is where everything is put through its final check. Not only do we have our, obviously, uh, gearbox or a transaxle gearbox, and this is something new for us for this year, but again, putting our brakes and brake rotors together, our hubs and axles, which is what we machine here in-house, uh, everything has obviously a tag put on it. We life everything, we sign off on it, all well, the boys do, whenever they finish a component. So we know who's done the work, how long it's taken, and of course how many hours everything's done. Quality control for us is a key element, and that's something that uh, the boys are very passionate about. We've got our crack testing machine in the corner, so when, whenever we have an accident or a problem, we can pull the wishbones off, we can crack test them to see whether they've got any hairline cracks in them. So again, safety is paramount. Well, this is one of the probably most important rooms out of all the workshop. This is our shock dyno room. Although it may be small, but it's quite significant about what we do and how we go about our business. And if you look around, you've got our springs, you've got all our shocks being pulled apart and serviced, cleaned. We also uh, service the rattle guns, which is obviously very important for our pit stops. But of course, the two machines, two shock dynos are very important to not only uh, put the shocks together, but then obviously test them, make sure that they're working correctly. We can graph and map our, our shock dynos like most people do, but it's something that's uh, a course for us as drivers. We want extra uh, grip, we want extra uh, drive, and of course we come down here and we of course we get, try to get Adam to make sure that we get that. But his uh, job is obviously with all these shims and stacks and everything else, is to be able to put a shock absorber together that will definitely give us what we want. Well, this is obviously a very dirty part of the workshop. And as you can see, this is a customer car, something that the team has undertaken to build cars for other race teams, which we ultimately end up racing. On the other side, we have a jig where we can put the chassis back on to check all the points to make sure that they're all in the right area if we have an altercation. But as we walk back through this area, it's quite a great little area. It's quite an expiring little area because it's sort of where a creation of the cars become. This little area over here is where all the radiators, the uprights, cross members, uh, wishbones, they all get built and designed here. So it's a great opportunity to come down here, hang out with the boys and see the creation of a race car. Well, this is another part of the uh, fabrication section. As you can see, there's five machines around here. They're CNC machines. 
So we start off with a block of aluminium, you insert it into the machine, you've got to be now a computer programmer, but once it's programmed, it spits out these little beauties. Now this is the beginning of a steering rack for us, or a water impeller. So it's something that uh, they say to me that uh, magic is made in this place, because you start with a block of aluminium and you end up also with a spindle. Now this is something obviously very important for us. Again, a very busy part of the workshop. We're building not only components for ourselves, but for our customers. So these guys in here do a fantastic job. It's not an easy area, but of course it's a very important part of the workshop. Now we've had a great opportunity to look around the workshop, but the one thing that I haven't been able to show you is the engine department, because we don't have it here. It's actually off-site. So it's about a 40 minute drive away from the workshop, but this is the engine that we do use. It's a five litre push rod engine, produces about 640 horsepower. Now this is a Casey Stoner engine. This is the one that goes into his car. But it's exactly the same engine that we now run in the car of the future. We've been able to now carry this engine across from last year to this year. Look, I just want to say, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour around Red Bull Racing Australia's factory. I hope you got to see some things that you didn't already know about. And if you can't get out to a racetrack, which I hope you can, you can see all the action right here on Speed TV.